Hi everybody, it's Grandad here. And what am I up to today? Well, I've got another build on the go, and uh, this one looks as if it might be a little bit more successful. Now what I've done, I purchased off the internet this uh, crystal radio set. And it's called uh, Grandad, Grandad Bob's Crystal Radio Set. Now it wasn't very dear, and it's come with all its bits and pieces. But I thought I wouldn't uh, actually show the build on this one because it takes rather a long time. And what I've done, I've soldered all the uh, all the components with a few, bit of extra wires. And uh, it, that took a long time. So uh, I thought I wouldn't put that actually on a video. But uh, what it consists of, and this booklet is really good. It shows you uh, all the parts. And uh, it's even got uh, a coil winding data sheet here, which is quite good. So you get plenty of information on where you can get the radio stations that you can pick up, hopefully, by winding the coil. Now, the thing you have to do is wind the coil. So I bought a, a two-inch tube. You don't get the tube with it, unfortunately. You get all the other bits, but you don't get the tube. So I bought this uh, tube from a stationer's. And uh, I'll just bring it in a little bit closer so you can see it. Uh, this coil... And you wound it on this two inch tube. And what it's got is what they call taps. You wipe, start winding and you, you put taps at every so far along. And uh, I put those taps at uh, 15 turns, 30, 45, 65 and 75 turns. Now that's more or less what it tells you in the, in the booklet to do. I think I got a couple of extra ones on the end there that they, uh, they said you could do. Well, they didn't say they could do, but I put them on myself. So that was a coil, and then I uh, lacquered the whole thing to make it look really uh, quite smart and tidy. Now, as I say, all the bits are there, and it consists of, uh, I'll hold these bits up now, a little, uh, let's get the booklet open so I can tell you exactly what this is called. This is a tuning capacitor, and it's quite a dinky little one. It's got three connections on it, and that... Uh, tunes in your radio and uh, hopefully finds your stations now it's got a one of the wires it doesn't seem to have anything connected to so that's why there's loose wires here but it's got three wires connections but you only seem to use two you also get all the connecting joints which are little plastic connectors and you get this headphone which uh, I was wearing when when we came in. Now this has to be a special headphone. It won't work with ordinary uh, headphones that you use for your iPlayers and your phones and all that sort of thing. There has to be these special, uh, old-fashioned sort of headphones. But they give you that, so that's good. And you need another little thing, or a couple of little things here. These are uh, crystal diodes, or they they call it a diode here, but it's it's what I used to call a crystal diode back in the day. And they're much smaller than they used to be. I the, the more Modern ones are much smaller and a little resistor which I didn't use back in the day when I used to make these crystal sets as a boy uh, the, the one they call the Boy Scout one I think it's a slightly different uh, variation on this and I'm going to make that one with some bits and pieces when I get it and uh, the idea is when you've got these taps I've got this uh, tap here this little cable here with a bull, bull crip on it and I can tap on the different positions on the coil in order to get me windings now to start with you get a lot of crackling and I've been listening in on it and when I first put it on it was working really well I wouldn't say it was working really well but it did work I picked up a, a couple of stations I got some people talking but for some reason which I don't understand because I haven't disconnected anything I tried one or two different things but for some reason just at this moment, <laughs> it's, uh, I'm just turning the capacitor, and uh, for some reason I'm not actually picking up a station. Now obviously these, these radios work uh, off uh, no electricity, so they're not very powerful. Now when this kit came, it had two wires. One was for uh, an aerial, which is this red wire, which is just here. And another wire which is green and they weren't very long and obviously I know that uh, 
for Christian radios to work really well, you need a really long aerial. So what I did, instead of using the one, the, the green one for earth or ground, I used it and joined it onto the aerial to make the aerial twice as long. And I fixed that up on my shed outside in the garden and it comes across to the window here and it comes in through the window on this red wire. It's very thin, but that's uh, what I consider to be quite a good aerial. Now then, in the instructions, it does tell you, and I must mention this, it shows you pictures of where you should uh, put the aerial up along a fence, it says, out in the open, and I've done that. There's the aerial. Well, you can see that on the picture. Let's bring that up a little bit. It shows you a picture there where to, where to put your aerial and bring it down into the house. It tells you all about it, earthing, the aerial, earth, earpiece, and it's very comprehensive. The resistor, the diode, crocodile clips, multi-tester, coils, and then aerials. So it's very comprehensive and very good. Now, one thing that it does say, it's got a danger sign here. And one thing it says that you mustn't do, <laughs> and I can understand why, because they wouldn't want children messing about with this and uh, electrocuting themselves by plugging these things into the mains. It does tell you to use an earth that goes to a water pipe or something similar into the ground as a ground earth. Now, I know that this house of ours has been inspected quite recently and the earthing is very good. It's been inspected and it's a really good earth. So what I've done, I've got this cable here, this black cable. And what I've done, I've wired a plug uh, into a wire, in, just one wire into the plug, into the earth socket, into the earth connection on that socket. And I've got it going out the door into a plug hole. Now it does say it's dangerous and you shouldn't do it. So I'm not recommending that you actually do that, but I've done it. So I'm just telling you about it and you could try it. But uh, as I say, I'm not advocating that you do anything with electricity. And certainly if you're a child, don't get messing with electrics and plugging this thing into the, into the mines because uh, you could end up with a big explosion. Now, this is not a terribly long video. But I'm quite pleased with this. It, it, it does seem that it's going to work. And uh, as I say, I've, I'm listening in on my headphone, but there's no way that uh, even if it was working really well, that you could listen to it over the, over the uh, Internet. I'm going to try and build at some stage an amplifier so that I can amplify the sound up and make it a little bit louder. So hopefully that will work in the future. So I'm very pleased with my Grandad Bob's crystal set. It looks as if it's going to work and uh, it, it wasn't very, it comes in the post in this box. And everything you need was in there really. You didn't really need any. In fact, there was a, an extra diode in it. I don't know whether they put one in by accident or whether they just put two in case one doesn't work. I don't know. But uh, so that was quite good. And it, it was very cheap and you can get it off the internet. So I recommend if you're teaching children about radio and uh, you're into uh, crystal sets and you want to start building some, this is a good starter kit and I'm very pleased with it. So I'll carry on with my uh, trying to tune in on these uh, on these little uh, wires here. I'm certainly getting crackles, so obviously something's connecting. But uh, this is slightly different to the uh, ones I used to have. I used to have what they had called a wiper and the wiper would go across the coil. Now, whether that's a better way of uh, using the capacitor, and there's all sorts of different capacitors you can use for these. We use two different kinds. But I think the Boy Scout one used it a, a, a capacitor that rubbed along the coil. And you file a bit off the coil and you rub it along there. And that's uh, a little bit better, I think. That can give it a bit more finer tuning, perhaps. And maybe I need a bigger coil with more turns on it, I don't know. But uh, I'm sure there is radio stations out there. And that if I fiddle with it long enough, I'll be able to pick them up. Maybe they're not all in England here. We don't do much with uh, radio. In America, they seem to get a lot more, uh, a lot more stations and picking up uh, with this kind of uh, radio system. But I'm going to make another one of these. And this has been great fun making. And what I've done, all the resistors, I've added a little bit of wire because you can see this jumble of wire. Now, what I'm going to do is set this all up on a board so that it looks tidy. Now, I haven't done that. I've just sort of stuck it all together a bit rough and ready. But I've got a board here, which uh, is uh, 
blue in. It's quite a pretty board. It's a little, it's a little kiddie's uh, uh, jigsaw puzzle. But I didn't want it as a jigsaw puzzle, so I've glued all the uh, sections in. And they should be glued in now with a little bit of PVA glue. I think that's dried off now. And what I'm going to do is mount this little crystal set all on this uh, this board and trim the wires down accordingly so that it fits on and looks really good. And hopefully the crystal set will work. And that's my next little project to uh, put this little crystal set together on the board. And if I get any more success with it when I'm building other crystal sets and I get this one working, I may come back to it and show uh, the progress that we've made. So there we go. Uncle Bob's. Uh, Grandad Bob's crystal radio set. The Grandad Jim has built <laughs> to show his grandson from radio bits and pieces. So until next time, when I show you something else interesting, hopefully, it's Grandad saying bye-bye now, bye-bye now. Don't forget to subscribe and like. <laughs>